Hey, who's an iconic figure for you? This is a call calligraphy um, holograph. <laughs> uh, uh, so you're gonna find an uh, iconic figure, somebody who you think of as an iconic being, and I picked Frida, obviously. Um, and you're going to take that and print that image. You want something large? I would like you to have a hand in it for expressive purposes. Okay. Um, you're going to take and make a value map, which you guys are getting really familiar with, right? Really familiar with. And you're going to take and draw around these areas. Um, and I'm asking you do, to do this so you're really looking carefully to identify shapes and spaces. I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me um, go through every, you know, area of dark and light, but make a volume map. This is darker here than it is there. This is lighter, okay? And at some point when you're done with your value map, you're gonna cut out these shapes, okay? You're gonna cut them out and you're gonna glue them on your map board, okay? You're gonna glue them onto the map board. And I'm not going to spend time having you do that right now, okay? You're gonna use, I don't want you to use glue guns for this. You're gonna use this crafts glue, tacky glue. And I want you to use a paintbrush to apply this. Um, this ha has lost its top, that's why it has that Q-tip in it. It has no other purpose, okay? No purpose at all. And you're going to put glue where you're going to attach your parts. And after you get all your parts attached, and you guys, because we're, you need to have a lot of glue in, um, in a holograph, you need to have a lot of glue. You can't just do a little thin coat to make it stick. This is really a glue uh, intense um, process, okay? So you're gonna glue your parts on your board. Let's pretend I've done that. Is everybody with me there? Um, I want you to have a container of water on your table to put your brush in so it doesn't dry. You're gonna be using these brushes a lot, and I don't wanna kill the brushes, okay? And if we don't uh, regularly put them in water, they're gonna get dried and uh, ruined. So you're gonna have all your um, sections and shapes cut out and you're gonna have it on your board. And then you're going to start, this is a fun part about, uh, can you hold that? Um, this is a fun part about a holograph. You know, let's say, um, oh, I think I'll make her eyebrows with this moss. And you're gonna put the moss on that spot on her eyebrow that you've cut out and you've put on there. You're gonna put a lot of glue on it, okay? Um, this is very experimental. Um, you can use a glue gun if you want to. Um, I pulled out a bunch of dif different things. You know, this might make her hair really nice. Um, the things you have to, I'm, I'm not gonna put any glue on there, but you guys would put a lot of glue on there and you'd press it down very hard, okay? Um, and you're gonna continue to build her features with these objects, okay? Do you have to put anything where it's white? I wouldn't attach anything. And you're gonna to wanna to leave some separation, you know? some separation between objects. Um, and you guys know how I collect junk, so um, these are some things I pulled out. You know, I might decide to make her earrings with some of these uh, minerals that were donated from the science department, you know? I might uh, decide to, you know, that would make some nice earrings, don't you think? We don't have to duplicate the shape. We're not gonna worry about that too much, um, being exact. I've got some small um, salt crystals. Uh, cute, I mean, uh, cotton balls make some really nice texture. Um, you could build up a hand shape with the cotton balls. You're thinking about value all the time too. Um, fabrics, the, this is a potato bag. Um, cutting it and crumpling it can make a nice, you know, uh, texture. Bubble wrap makes some really nice patterns. You can put that in the background for a nice pattern texture. Uh, toothpicks, you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this, I think, you know. I could decide to use the toothpicks as a pattern in the background and glue it on there. I could break them into small pieces and weave them together. Um, almost, you can put anything on here that you want, but it has to all be about the same thickness, okay? because it's gonna go through the printing press. 
Something like this could be really thick because it's just going to be pressed down really hard, right? Um, I could use these fabrics uh, for another texture. Um, what else were, uh, was I really excited about? Oh, flowers. Uh, you guys know we have these flowers kind of everywhere in both of these rooms. That might be a really nice thing to put in there. Um, oh, letters. We have letters. We have some textured fabric. Um, some of this Christmas ribbon might be nice. This is a very experimental process, okay? The only thing you have to remember, I won't use like a big rock in here, right? It's going through the printing press. So you're gonna keep those rocks that I showed you that I might use for her earrings. They would be really nice um, because they're flat, but you're gonna make sure that you don't pick anything that's really sharp. Um, I have an, a huge supply of pipe cleaners. You know, they could create a nice texture. Um, so, when you're all done with your plate, you're gonna show me, Ms. Jacobs, what do you think? And I might give you some suggestions um, or ask Ms. Larson um, if she has any suggestions um, before you put polyurethane on it. So when you're all done with your plate, you're gonna take and spray it with polyurethane. And after it dries, you can ink it and it won't, um, you know, it won't uh, stick to the objects, okay? Uh, the other thing, um, I think, we're gonna be very experimental with the ink. I haven't decided exactly what you're gonna use yet, but I have a lot of printmaking ink from other processes that we no longer use. Um, and it's water-based ink, so it's not quite as messy as this soy-based um, ink, uh, but it does dry fast. So you're gonna to have to think about that. Um, I'm gonna experiment with this and see how that other ink performs, and then we'll make up our, our minds what we're going to use for this. Do you guys have any questions? Glue guns work great for drawing. I mean, you can actually take and, and draw things. You know, you can see the student did her nose. And, and I want you to revise these. I've got a lot of this netting. Um, so some of, some, some of this is just, it's so simple, but it doesn't make a very complex uh, print. It doesn't have very interesting textures, you know? It makes a pretty nice print, but um, I want you to get more experimental. I've got tons of map board. The other thing that um, I encourage you to use, you know, cardboard is really easy to cut out shapes. Um, and that might be really nice actually for some of the face structure, you know. And take this one layer off and you can create a texture with it. Okay, there's, there's so many things you can do. Uh, the one thing I am gonna ask you guys, uh, because I originally was going to take some bins and fill them up with stuff, and that was going to be what you got to uh, use. However, when I do that, I find my students don't experiment as much. So if you're going to use some of these rocks, you're going to put the rocks.